What's up guys, thanks for coming to Game in Canada with me. Today we're going to be expanding on the overclocked virtual Wii emulator injects with an N64 emulator. Not only will this emulator be running way faster than its virtual Wii counterpart, but we're also going to get full Wii U gamepad and pro controller support. This one's going to be short and sweet, so hold on to your hats and let's get it started. First thing you need to do, head down to the link in the description and download n64files.zip. Once you've got that zip folder, go ahead and take your Wii U's SD card and open it up on the computer. Right click n64files.zip and use 7-zip to extract it to here. This is going to give you four different folders. You can go ahead and delete the zip folder, you're not going to need it any longer. Now everything is already pretty much set up for you in these four folders. The only thing you need to do is open up the Wii 64 folder and then inside of here is a ROMs folder. And this is where you're going to put all your N64 ROMs. So I've gone ahead and added a few ROMs. I went and selected ROMs that maybe don't have a virtual console counterpart. So then you know we maybe get a little bit of use out of this emulator. If you guys want to see me actually make a video about injecting N64 ROMs into virtual consoles that you can then install with Whoop Installer, go down in the comments and tell me to stop slacking on that video. Now that you've got some ROMs in your ROMs folder, Head back to the new four folders that you just created and you just need to drag and drop all four of these to the root of your SD card. Now this is going to create some folders or possibly merge some folders. If you happen to be prompted to overwrite any files, go ahead and do it. Now that you've got your new folders on your Wii U's SD card, safely eject it and insert it into your Wii U and I'll meet you guys down there. Just a quick note, if you happen to follow my PlayStation 1 emulator video just a few days ago, then you're going to want to open up your Wii U folder on your SD card open up the apps folder within it and in here you're going to want to look for sign c2wpatcher.elf go ahead and delete it i've provided you with a new one inside of its own folder and it has a meta and an icon so everything looks a little bit more professional we're down here on the wii u go ahead and launch into custom firmware you can use hacks custom firmware or mocha i'm just going to launch into hacks by holding the a button when i launch into my icon here now that I'm in custom firmware, I'm going to go ahead and launch into Weaponstaller GX2 by again loading my Hackschi icon and holding the B button this time. Alternatively, you could go ahead and load up the homebrew launcher and launch into Weaponstaller that way. On your gamepad screen, go ahead and tap Wii U Gamepad Wii 64 and hit install. Hit yes and go ahead and install it to your NAND, not the USB. When it's successfully installed, go ahead and tap OK. Press the home button to exit out of Whoop Installer. Press the home button again to exit out of the homebrew launcher. Now I'm going to exit out of Mii Maker. Now that you're back on your home menu, you should see a Nintendo 64 icon and this is going to boot you into your emulator. Before we run this emulator, much like the Wii SXR emulator, we're going to have to overclock our virtual Wii by running Sign C2W Patcher. Now I'm going to turn off my console and turn it back on so that I can show you guys exactly the steps that you need to do before running your N64 emulator. So I've just turned on the console, everything is fresh. What we need to do is launch into the homebrew launcher either through Hackschi or you can go ahead and use the web exploit. Now that you're loaded into the homebrew launcher, look for sign C2W patcher and go ahead and load it. Now this is going to allow you to overclock your virtual Wii and it's going to enter you into custom firmware. So you don't have any need to run Mocha or Hackshi custom firmware before running this. I'm going to tap load. Now that you've ran Sign C2W Patcher, you're free to run Wii 64. So I'm going to go ahead and load it up. This software supports the Wii U gamepad. Do you want to use it? Yes, I do. Now that we've loaded into the emulator, there isn't a ton for you to do, but you can go down into settings, go over to video and switch the screen mode to 16.9 if you want. Gonna hit the B button a couple of times. Now I just need to go to load ROM, load from SD, and I'm going to try out GoldenEye. Go down to play a game, hit A. As you can see, my FPS is displayed across the top, and we're up into the high 50s slash the 60s. And look at this, this is actually playing perfectly, holy cow. So we're starting up the damn mission, here's the first level of the game. And this is totally playable. Ah, it's so hard to control. I forgot N64 controlled like this. 
Oh my goodness, this is crazy. So the control stick not only moves you forward, but also, oh, nice duck, dude. That was great. So not only spins you, but also moves you forward. Try to snipe these guys. Boom, right in the kisser. Boom, oh, 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 he's too quick. Boom, oh, right through the throat. Jeez, Louise. All right, guys, I think that's enough golden eye. Let's try another game. I'm going to go to load ROM, and I'm going to load up a different ROM. I'm going to go for Conker's Bad Fur Day this time. So trying to load up Conker's Bad Fur Day instantly seemed to crash. Nothing happened. It just brought me right back to the main menu. Uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and try to load a different game. I really want to try out Diddy Kong Racing. Hopefully this works. That would be absolutely awesome. Let's go down to play game. Oh, and it's loaded. Seems to be capped out at 30 FPS maybe, but no way, I can't believe that this is actually playing. And just real quick, because I haven't done it yet, here I am, what's up everybody? As you can see, we're actually playing on the gamepad as well. How crazy is that? So I've gone ahead and just loaded into a race real quick in Diddy Kong Racing. I just wanted to see what the performance was like. And honestly, it seems to be playing absolutely perfectly. The game seems to be capped out at 30 FPS though. I haven't played this game in literally over 10 years. My goodness, this is nutty. I don't even really know how to play. It like kind of automatically drifts for you. This is so cool. I'm really, really stoked that Diddy Kong Racing works on here. Well, now that we know that this works, let's move on to the next game. So if you press X, A, Y, and B all at the same time, then you'll go back to the main menu here. I'm going to go ahead and load a ROM. I've only got a couple left to try here. I want to try out Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. Seems to be running 60 FPS. Let's go ahead and just play one player mode real quick. This is crazy. No way, so you can play Super Smash Bros. 64 on your Wii U, even on your gamepad, like a Game Boy. This is nutty. So it turns out, even if you manually change the input, it's not going to allow two people to play, one with the Wii U Pro Controller and one with the gamepad. At least I haven't figured out how to do it. As you can see, the gamepad or the Wii U Pro Controller controls both players. Even if I just switch one to second player, whichever I switch to second player, the controller just becomes unresponsive. If you guys know how to get it working with two people, then go down in the comments and let me know. I feel like the virtual Wii side of things, if I launch this normally from the homebrew launcher in the virtual Wii, then I think I would be able to pick whichever controller I want, but I wouldn't have gamepad support, so it's kind of a toss up there. So I've only got one game left to test here, and it's Road Rash 64, so I'm going to go ahead and load it up. Some of the menus just seem to be completely non-existent, so I'm going to go ahead and just hit the A button. As you can see here, my character actually isn't even there on the screen. So as you can see, the game is playing all right, but I can't even tell where my character is. This is not a first person game. I should be able to see my character riding around on his motorcycle, but <laughs> you know, I mean, at least it's kind of working. For my last test, I decided to try out 007, The World Is Not Enough. This is actually one of my favorite James Bond games. And if you remember, on the N64, it came in a cool blue cartridge. I honestly didn't think that this game was going to work, but I seem to have gotten this far, so let's load into the game and see what happens. Start up the first mission on Agent. So we're loading into the game here. James Bond is walking into the bank, I believe it is, and as you can see, I'm having tons of graphical errors. As you can see, this game is, I'm going to say, completely unplayable at the moment, as everything is just completely messed up. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you are now running a Wii 64 emulator on your Wii U with gamepad controls. You can also use the Wii U Pro Controller to play, but unfortunately, you can't use it for multiplayer. If you guys have any questions or comments, go down to the comment section and tell me all about it.
I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.